On November 19, 2025, NASA made press conference to present latest images of interstellar comet 3I Atlas. A true interstellar visitor has been tracked from multiple vantage points across the inner solar system, and the picture we see is richer and stranger than anyone expected. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, recently returned a close-up image of the object in the frame it appears as a compact ball-shaped source circled in red, a nucleus surrounded by a diffuse cloud of ejected material. Crucially, the comet was close enough to Mars for MRO to resolve details that are nearly impossible to capture from Earth when the object lies on the far side of the Sun relative to us. Orbital geometry explained why Mars was essential. When 3I Atlas first moved into the inner solar system, it sat roughly opposite the Sun from Earth, placing it at a small solar elongation and making ground-based tracking difficult or impossible. Mars, however, was favorably positioned and gave us a different Sun commit observer angle. MAVEN contributed spectroscopic data from Mars orbit, and the image labeled on the frame, the red circle, identifies 3I Atlas cleanly against the stellar background, a vivid demonstration of why a distributed fleet of planetary assets matters for transient targets. Those images are essential for refining the comet trajectory. Hubble precise astrometry tightened orbital elements and allowed teams to predict that 3I Atlas will cross Jupiter orbit in 2026. That is an important milestone for dynamical modeling and for forecasting future visibility from Earth and space assets. Hubble Space Telescope observations at a separation of roughly 207 million miles from Earth delivered a blue view of the comet's coma. High-resolution imaging showed a compact nucleus surrounded by a dust envelope whose brightness and scattering properties produce that blue tint in broadband optical filters. The nucleus itself is actively shedding material. Imaging from MRO and the Lucy instrument as reported in the Martian data package show jets and a persistent dust tail forming as 3I Atlas loses grains to space. The Lucy instrument frame, with the comet highlighted by a red circle, provides a clean, complementary viewpoint 
it captures the dust morphology at a phase angle and resolution different from Earth-based views, enabling 3D reconstruction of dust ejection directions when combined with Hubble and other data. Those images are essential for refining the comet's trajectory. Hubble precise astrometry tightened orbital elements and allowed teams to predict that 3I Atlas will cross Jupiter orbit in 2026. That is an important milestone for dynamical modeling and for forecasting future visibility from Earth and space assets. That compositional fingerprint places 3I Atlas outside the typical makeup we see in many solar system comets and points to formation in a colder, carbon-rich environment before it was ejected from its home system. James Webb Space Telescope supplied complementary information. Its infrared spectroscopy detected strong carbon dioxide signatures in 3I Atlas coma, indicating CO2 is far more abundant than water vapor for this object. A team using the European Southern Observatory Very Large Telescope VLT reported the first robust detection of nickel vapor emerging from the coma when 3I Atlas was about 3.8 astronomical unit from the sun, a surprising distance for metal atoms to appear in the gas phase. Closer to Mars, spectroscopic imaging from MAVEN instruments recorded the coma gas distribution from a Martian orbital perspective, giving time-resolved maps of emission that helped link bursts of dust loss to nucleus activity. From Earth, SOHO Telescope captured the coma and the extended dust cloud as it scattered sunlight, a clear view of how the dust is distributed and how it glows when illuminated near the sun direction. Those SOHO frames are especially useful for tracking the diffuse halo and for constraining the smallest grain populations that dominate scattering cross-section but are hardest to detect in point source imaging. Taken together, these multi-platform observations do more than produce pretty pictures. High-precision astrometry from Hubble narrowed the comet orbit and improved predictions out to Jupiter path in 2026. This campaign is an example of why a distributed, multi-instrument approach across planetary orbits is indispensable for transient interstellar visitors. Each observatory, MRO, MAVEN, Lucy Imager, Hubble, JWST, VLT, and SOHO brought a distinct probe of structure, motion, and chemistry. As 3I Atlas continues outbound and crosses Jupiter orbit in 2026, soon it will leave our solar system and we will never see it again.